tough. And Antonio, first he loses his money, then the club, now this. I mean, I'm kind of surprised he wants to hang out here. Well, he shouldn't be the one that has to leave. John and Tyler should. And I'd like your permission to say that to him. I don't think so. Why not? Antonio's not making an issue out of this. Why do you think that you have to, Macho? I can't believe you're taking his side because he's your friend. I'm not taking his side. I own this club. I don't want any trouble. He wants all to lose everything. Oh, boy. You know, I know. I don't like this place. Let's go small. You know what? You're sweet, but I'm fine. Yeah? You? He didn't waste any time getting over Marty. You know, you can even love me, and I, I don't think I'll ever be over No, I was just going to Yeah. You made so many mistakes when you came into town that you, you really owned up to him. You took your hits. Wait, wait, people in this town, they forget and forget. I know. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure. Tell me. That maybe I'll be happier someplace else. Hi. Hey. Hey, hey Hattie. Hi. Something right the out of the house? You get out. Occasionally. Yeah. Well, I, just, I know that Jared sent GG over to your place with a ton of work to do. And I just had this picture of you through nose to the grindstone and you're out of knitting or something. I'm just, I'm really glad to hear that I was wrong. Not as glad as I am. I just still think I should go out with somebody I work with. Why? It wouldn't be like we were going out. What would it be? Well, we both need to eat, right? <laughs> Hey, listen, I'm beat, and I don't have Shane tonight. I'm actually looking forward to a hot bath, a good book, and a TV dinner. You know, I don't know if I've ever been turned down for a book and frozen food before. <laughs> don't take it personally, okay? Hang on. Mm -hmm. How long has it been since you've been out? You need a date? date. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mm, before Shane was born. See, that just sucks. Mm, what about you? Well, When's the last uh, time you went out? Uh, well, uh, it's it's not been that long, <laughs> but it has been a while. So. Well, you're not as pathetic as me, I'm sure. I think we're both pathetic. So, let me buy you a drink after work. You know. You really want to? Come on, you're tempted. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Let's go. You okay? I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do. What am I going to tell my parents? Nothing. Only Lisa knows, right? Wait, she told you? I knew something was wrong, right? She finally gave me the address to the clinic. Don't be mad for her. I don't know it. I'm not mad, Cole. I'm glad that you know. I just... I don't know what comes next. Figure it out. Marco? Cole, where are you? I'm driving back to start. We're at the diner. Mr. Manning's on his way over here right now. And you know what will happen if he finds likes to have his heart's closed and, and a bad wig. All right, all right, we'll, we'll be there as soon as I can. Don't worry. Take care of you. Anything else, Star? I don't forget Mr. Manning's on his way over here right now. Why? I just talked to Cole, and he's got Star, and they're on their way back. Hi, Mr. Manning. Um, do you want a, a booth or, or the counter? I don't know. Where's Star? Uh, she's in the bathroom.